Hey, this is E-Rock, back for a quick debrief on the late night war between Joan Rivers and Johnny Carson. If you haven't seen it yet, click in the links below, you should be able to find it. This video was much harder for me to put together than previous late night wars, Lopez and Conan, or Conan versus Leno. Because those ones had sort of a beginning and an end. Um, the nice thing about Leno versus Conan was I had a beginning, which was Leno saying, I'm going to hand the show off to Conan in five years. And then the ending that I originally found was the one where... Uh, Norm MacDonald is saying, uh, congratulations, Conan, on getting The Tonight Show. That's something they could never take away from you. It was just a good ending. It was funny. And while I was trying to find clips to fill in all the middle parts of the video, uh, I found like four more endings. And just like Peter Jackson, I used all of them. With Lopez and Conan, um, I had a beginning, which was Lopez saying, I'm not going nowhere, knowing that a year later, Conan was going to have his time slot on TBS. So that one went together pretty easy, too. This one... Um, while I was doing those videos, I kind of uh, learned about this one, and I decided I would try to put together something on this, Rivers and Carson. And it was a lot harder to find clips because of the age of, of the clips. Um, one of the So actually, I had no beginning and no ending that I could think of at first. So I actually started with the cold open, just the, uh, or excuse me, I started without a cold open. I just went right to the title scene. Um... And then I went into, uh, there was a brief clip from the Foundation interviews of them asking Joan, how did you get started on The Tonight Show? That's where I started. And then, unfortunately, the, her first appearance on The Tonight Show, um, I don't know if it exists or not. It's certainly not found on YouTube or any of the other video hosting sites right now. Um, it may be one of the old kinescopes that got wiped. It may not exist anymore. Uh, it may be somewhere in the Carson estate. I don't know. But I couldn't find it. So I just started with the earliest appearance I could find of Joan and Johnny together, which was Joan's appearance on the Sammy Davis Jr. show when Johnny was guest hosting, which is the clip that most of the uh, news groups used when Joan passed away and they wanted to tell her life story. That was the one that everyone went back to, probably because the same reason. It's the earliest one that anyone can find. Um, and then I found a clip of uh, Joan briefly had a daytime talk show called That Show, which Johnny Carson guest appeared on a couple times. So I used a clip from that. And uh, then I got into, and then I figured that sort of covered the 60s part of their on-air uh, collaboration. And then I w was able to jump to like the 70s. I think 1973 or 71 was the earliest clip I could find of Joan appearing on The Tonight Show with Johnny. So I went to that. And then I went into this montage of Tonight Show clips. It wasn't really until I had gotten through that montage part that this thing started to feel like a real, a real edit to me. Um, it was really tough going at first trying to figure out where to start and how to put it together. And I would call this a uh, stone soup edit. Stone soup is an old folktale where um, a traveler uh, comes to a village and he's got nothing. He's got no food. He's got no money. He goes around knocking door to door asking if anybody has anything to spare and nobody gives him anything. He has nothing but an empty pot. So he gets an idea. He goes down to the river and he fills it up with water. And he goes to the middle of the village square and he uh, lights a fire under his pot of water and he starts boiling it. And then he takes a couple of stones and he sticks them in. And some villager passes by and says, what are you doing? He says, oh, I'm making up some stone soup. It's going to be fantastic. And he says, stone soup? I never heard of that. What is that? And he goes, well, it's a delicious soup. You're going to love it. Um, man, it just if, you had, if I had a couple of vegetables to put in here or something, it would really help it out. And the villager says, well, I, I got a couple of carrots um, I could probably spare. And so the, the traveler says, hey, if you give me those carrots or cut them up and put them in this soup, I'll give you a bowl of soup when we're done. And he says, well, I, you know, a bowl of soup sounds better than a carrot, so sure. So he cuts up the carrot and puts it in, and then another villager comes by. What are you guys doing? And he says, making up some stone soup. And um, so the, he says, you know, if I had a couple of potatoes, this would really finish it off. And the guy says, I got a potato I can spare, maybe two. So they cut up potatoes and put them in, and then it keeps going in the same fashion. Uh, more villagers come by, and, um, you know, maybe some spices, maybe even a piece of meat, maybe an onion. And so then all the villagers are gathered around, and the soup is starting to smell really good. And they say, hey, is it ready to eat? And the traveler says, uh, it's almost ready. There's just one step left. And he reaches in, and he takes out the stones, and he throws them away. That's stone soup. Uh, I guess there's a lot of morals you can take from that story about sharing or something that's uh, greater than the sum of its parts. But what I get from it is 
that the stones, while not a necessary part of the final soup, they are a necessary part of the process of getting it made. Just like in this video edit, these clips I had early on in the edit, Sammy Davis Jr. show and that show, were not, they ended up not being necessary to the final edit, and they actually sort of detracted from it because they slowed it down at the beginning and really were unnecessary just clowning around and not really advancing the story of the late night war. They were indulgent. So I ended up throwing them out at the end. They can still be found online if you want to watch them. This I thought this edit was going to be uh, shorter than the previous ones. I'm always surprised. I end up like thinking it's going to be 10 minutes long or 20 minutes, and then it's like the longest one I've done yet. It's like 38 minutes. I will say I spent much more time on this one trying to shorten it, trying to take out all the unnecessary stuff, like those two clips. And um, I must have taken out 15 minutes worth of stuff, probably. Although, you know, my edit always was hovering somewhere around 38 to 40 minutes. Um, I would take things out and then put new things in and take more out and just kind of back and forth. But um, anyways, I should say that it was pretty far into the edit when I found a clip, which was from Entertainment Tonight, which was a nice summation of how Joan rose to fame and then how her friendship with Johnny turned into a war. That was that became my new beginning. And then when I found the Howard Stern clip where she talked about visiting Johnny's grave, I thought, well, that probably sounds like a good ending, uh, maybe a little morbid. In my previous videos, um, I had correctly been criticized for not really filling things in. Those weren't really the point of the videos. I was just trying to take all the clips that I'd found online of these clips relating people talking about these late night wars and just trying to stitch them all together into one. I wasn't really trying to make it a full documentary, um, especially on like the Leno versus Conan. I was uh, criticized for not maybe filling in some of the background material. So that's kind of why I ended up doing these pop-up videos in this one. And I probably won't do it again because I don't want to just steal pop-up video. Um, but just for the one time, it seemed kind of fun. Um, and just a way to fill in little facts about things without having to use my own voice. Um, because I don't really want to interrupt the flow of the clips that seem to flow together pretty well. But, and I don't want to just turn into my opinion on things. But in the future, perhaps some narrative linking voice will be necessary to actually fill in background details that uh, aren't uh, present in these clips. So. That's it. Um, always working on the next thing, and uh, stick around. There will always be more coming.